Hey guys, so today I am filming how I edit my Instagram photos video. Um, right now I have the i iPhone 6. Um, I use, I have a whole photography folder, but the two main apps that I use are Facetune and Visco Cam. I have a ton of other ones, but I never use them. And I use the Instagram layout app as well sometimes, but Facetune and Visco Cam are you literally the only ones that I use. So actually taking the photo, any selfies, so like, pick, everyone knows what a selfie is, I don't know why I'm trying to explain what a selfie is. Um, any selfies I usually take on the camera that I'm filming on now against a white wall. Um, I like a clear image or, yeah, I try to take like most of my pictures on this if I can, but if I'm like actually out doing something and I'm actually like using Instagram for what it's for, for like posting a picture of what you're doing at that time, I just use my camera uh, on my phone. But... What I do is before, someone just said something really nice to me. Oh my God, that was so nice. Um, so I'm taking the picture on my actual phone. I always clean the lens first, so just clean it on here. And then I make sure that, you know, the picture is gonna sort of fit my theme. So I try to like incorporate the grays and the whites because my theme right now is kind of like that white gray sort of theme. Honestly, I'm really bad at keeping a theme. I have no idea, like, what's, like, <laughs> what's going on. So, like, sometimes it, like, fits perfectly, and then I'll post one photo and it doesn't fit my theme at all. But, like, whatever. Who cares? Yeah, so always wipe off your lens and try to get the best lighting possible. Good lighting iPhone photos versus bad lighting iPhone photos is a world of difference. Like, if you're in a bad light, your iPhone photo will look like you're on an iPhone 4. And then if you're in a good light, it'll make it look like it's taken with like a DSLR so so let's get right into the actual editing process if sending myself the picture so I'm just going to show you how this is like the one of my Instagrams I did I'm just going to show you how I edited this picture so I'm just going to save that picture and I send it from my computer to my iPhone and then what I will do is I will oops, I will go here and go to Facetune And I will open the photo that I want, so this one. And yeah, so it looks like this, and then what I'll do is I'll go right here and take uh, the whitening, the teeth whitening tool, and I will white the whole background. Sorry, this is really shaky. I will just white the whole background. Okay, Sharon, you're in my video now. Obviously, like, I'll be a little more precise when I'm doing it, but... I should have put my phone in airplane mode, I'm sorry. Basically, you get the idea, though. So, that now yellow background is now fully white. And I think it looks great. So... Then what I'll do is, I mean, I feel like I don't really need to edit anything else, but I'll, like, zoom into my face, and if anything's, like, bothering me, I'll fix it, but nothing's really bothering me. But I'll go to the Details app, and I'll usually just go over my eyes, and then you can see, like, it just makes your eyes glow. And I really like that in pictures, so it really does make a difference. Um, and then that's what I'll do there. And, like, I mean, I don't really think I need anything, like, looks good to me. So that's all I'll do in Facetune. Um, it's all I really use. So I'll go and I will save the photo to camera roll. And then I'll go to Visco Cam. What I love about Visco Cam, other than all the filters, I love that you can see what your Instagram roll is gonna look like here. So, you know, you can check to see that all the pictures kind of go together. Um, so I used to be a cool theme and then I transferred into white. So I'm gonna teach you kind of how to do both. So what I'll do is I'll add the photo and then I will go to 
right here where they have all the presets and the one that I use now is a six and for a selfie I'll bring it down to like six but anything else I usually leave it at 12 like all my filler photos or photos of things that are not my face um, so this is what I do for my theme now and if a photo doesn't really match the theme sometimes they go black and white but this one matches my selfie theme that I have going on um, for the cooler theme if you want to go that route which is my old theme I really liked HBA1 and HBA2, um, and P5 is if you're going to go like really, really cool, and I also like the T1 filter, but A6 is what I'm using now, so go to, oh, sorry, go to A6, bring it down to about 6, then I'll go into the little wrench, and I'll bring up, you know, the I'll just like play around with it. This one I actually want to bring the contrast down or the brightness down. Maybe bring the contrast up. And then anytime I bring the contrast up, I actually bring the fade up just a little bit. So bring that up to three. Doesn't really need anything else. I also like this tool, which is the skin tone tool. So you can kind of make your skin more like green toned or more red toned if you see. Um, this is good for other pictures, but this one is, doesn't need that. So there we go. I guess it's edited a little bit differently than this one, but you know, I think this one has is a little more bright. So then I will then check to see how that looks with my theme. Then I'll save it to camera roll and the largest size. And then I will go to Instagram and I'll figure out how I want to set it. So, I mean, I like this little tool. Um, there's all this also like the layout. Let's open it in layout. Um, where you can do like all this fun stuff where I've done this before. I don't know, you know, you know the drill, but we're not gonna do that for this picture. Okay, go back. So we're just going to leave it like that, press next, and then I take the sun, I usually bring the sun to about 23, and then I go into the wrench, and I bring the brightness up a little bit, probably to about 23, 25. Um, I'll play around with it, see how I like it, and then I'll fill in all this, and then I'll post the photo. Um, this is what my current Instagram looks like, theme-wise. Um, pretty cool. So, if you want a little Instagram theme like this, you can follow this tutorial and get a cool Instagram theme like this. Otherwise, you do you. Rock your own Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Twitter as well. And I'd really appreciate it if you also like my Facebook page. I'm trying to up my likes on that. Otherwise, I love you. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.